Oops, I'm sorry. Dang it. Hey there, um, welcome to session 12. Dang it, I got a late start today and everything's chaos because I completely, <laughs> I just completely lost track of time and I didn't, uh, I just straight up got distracted by things and completely lost track of time even though I was planning on streaming today. Like I didn't even announce it, not e Oh jeez, anyways. Sorry, I guess none of that's really important. Um. Alright, so I just arrived in Summers. And. I'm assuming, like. I get. I'm getting the impression that Summers is supposed to be Italy. I don't know. Um, I guess there's nothing specific. Italian around here is just just the way I mean there's whoa there's an enemy out here what the hell oh geez that thing was an enemy I didn't even see it okay um gee whiz well, let's kill this thing. Uh, or I could... At least I can finally heal that with an ability. So, um... Jeez, oh Pete, so this guy just uses status effects, I guess. Open to hypnosis. What does that mean? Open to hypnosis? Also, that sign is for Ohio. Ohio 40. Um. Unless it's supposed to be for highway and it just has eyes, but it looks like it says Ohio to me. Uh. La 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 la. Well, she's not gonna do much damage. Well, he's not that strong either. Oh, that reminds me, I was going to use the Vitality uh, capsule on her. Um, okay, so it said open to Hypnosis. Let's see if that means that works on him. Or wait a minute, Hypnosis isn't even going to work if I'm attacking him, is it? Because you, I think if you get hit while you're hypnotized, you immediately, nah, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, I guess I don't really have anything to go on. It's just... I don't know, something about this beach. And there's also the fact that we're supposed to take a boat to Scaraba, which has a, a pyramid. So I, between the Scarab imagery and the pyramid imagery, I'm assuming that's supposed to be... Um, blah, 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 Egypt. Durr. And it would make sense, then, that you could take a boat from Italy to Egypt. Or even Greece to Egypt, I guess. Anyways, um, there's something I realized earlier. Oh, you're an enemy. Hello. Can I get you from behind? It doesn't look like I can. You're too aware of me. Well, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, good. It's just a normal Mad Taxi, not like an upgraded version. I wonder how you would react to electricity. Oh, Marie. Dang it. Oh well, we're strong enough to take him anyways. Oh, I should take off my watch. So, uh, I don't even know if anybody r r would remember this, if, if you're watching the this as a series. If you're bored, go check out the Scaraba Natu Natural Cult bleh, Scaraba Cultural Museum. It may be helpful to you. 
They have hieroglyph from a pyramid. Yeah, it definitely sounds like Scarab is supposed to be Egypt. But, wait. Why would there be a museum for that here and not in their own country? Club Stoic? This is a shop. It just has... Why would you need painted palm trees? You could just plant palm trees in front. There's a Coke truck. I'll go check out the buildings in a minute. I just want to see what else is out in the open. I'm actually a surfer, but you can't surf at this beach. Should I become a porter so I can get some tip? I can get tips from all the old folks. What's a porter? It, like, like a hotel porter? I, I don't know. Hey, hey, hey! Stop putting your grimy fingerprints on my car, you little punk! Got a restaurant. Oh, those are enemies. Jeez, once again, I didn't recognize that sign as an enemy. Ah, the taxi can't get to us with that sign in the way. Haha. -ha. Yeah, I'm sure that's not a thing. Uh. Okay, if I use Hypnosis Gamma, it hits everybody. So. Let me do that, and then that guy's supposed to be open to hypnosis, so I'll focus on this guy instead. I gotta find out what open to hypnosis even means. It... Because normally they say vulnerable, right? Or... Nope, oh, nope, it does mean it get works on him, okay. Uh, okay. Totally scrapped. Crazy sign woke up. It didn't look like it was really moving in the first place. But anyways, as I was saying, in the episode where uh, it was Conan's big adventure, he was headed down to meet us. Sky's blue and the sign's high. Prices here are so high, it'll make your face turn blue. That summers. Sorry, I'm adjusting the mic. Um. Oh. Jeez, it always freaks me out when the game just freezes, because I think I, like, something's wrong. Pictures taken instantaneously. Photographic genius. I produce this on myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fudgy pickles. Okay, this picture actually makes some sense. Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. Whee! This one actually makes some sense because it kind of, us getting a shot in front of the hotel is like, um, you know, a vacation photo. Le Hotel du Sommer. $150 per night for a single room. And that's the end of town. All right. Um. Okay, so what I was tr keep trying to say before I get distracted by things. Oh, Pokey's in town. Hmm. Hmm. I think I got money on me. I. I am the assistant manager. Sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we do not have a reservation under your name. However, we can offer you a room for four fifty a night. Uh, no. So is this a thing I need to do? I need to get a reservation. Is that a hint for something I need to do? Oh, excuse you, indeed. Here, the security guard in the Scarabo Cultural Museum isn't very nice, but he can be helpful. Uh. Not, if he's not very nice, he can be helpful. Where are the rooms? Whoa. Holy shit. Look at this area. What is going on with this perspective? This is not right. Ah, uh, Pokey! I'm gonna get ya! Oh, you're not Pokey. Can't believe you want, you pronounce hotel as hotel. In this country, hotel is pronounced hotel. What? So then... In your country, is otter pronounced as hotter? How should I know these things? Okay. I mean, further evidence that we're in Italy, right? 
because in Italian I'm pretty sure the H is silent. Of course, that's true in Spanish speaking places too, so. Anyways, back to what I've been trying to say over and over again. Um, so, back during Conan's adventure to come meet up with us, uh, I commented on how the winter's theme sounded familiar to me. And I think I figured out what it is. Um, but I'm not sure if it's going to be interesting because it's... Uh, well, when I was younger... Uh, I need to find, I'm going to check the other hotel and see if it's cheaper. When I was like in either junior high or like early high school, there was a comedian, uh, songwriter, a comedian musician in a local, that yeah, can't talk. Okay, in the hospital, wait, I thought there was a second hotel. There's a sign for a hotel. There's a graffiti on the board. The handwriting is hard to read. Rocky, eat my shorts for a neighbor. He's a loser. Well. Uh, a shop. Okay. I could have sworn there was a second hotel in town. And I thought one might be cheaper than the other. Oh, I suppose I could have just checked my map. Oh, I've been in this shop before. Alright. You didn't have anything of interest, that's right. I don't even know why I talked to you. Okay, so when I was in junior high, or um, I, like, either junior high or early high school, there was a, like, a comedian musician. Whoop, whoop, I'm gonna get ya. Yeah, I gotcha. Um... Just a local one, and he wasn't really f famous. I don't know. I don't really know if what happened to him because, like, he might have went on to become famous. But his name was Wally Pleasant. So I'm gonna feel really silly if everybody actually knows who he is, but I doubt it because I'm pretty sure it was just a local thing. But um. Gosh, this is, I'm realizing that this is completely uninteresting to listen to, and I don't know why I'm trying to finish this story. But, like, he had... It's, the point is, he had a song that sounded like that. Um, and that's it. It was called Denny's at 4 a.m. Um, and it sounded a lot like the winter theme, and that's it. That is really, really an uninteresting story. I don't even know why I pushed so hard to get that out of my mouth. Uh... Like, I'm not doing this for my health, I'm just doing it in case Conan heals something, or... In one town, I had to stay the night in order for something, in order for the story to progress, so, you know, it's worth staying at each hotel at least once. Ooh, an ocean view. Gosh dang, that was an uninteresting story, and I feel really bad now that I wasted everybody's time telling it. Because it wasn't really a story, it was just a fact. And for, it took me like 20 minutes just to struggle to get it out of my mouth. Alright, so let's see what's in the... Oh, wait, hold on, I'm going to step outside real quick and just check my map. Okay. So, uh, I should check the shop before I do anything else because I might end up fighting something and it could have some weapons for me. 
So let me go in here before I go to any other businesses. How annoying! Why are you wandering around? Summers is a posh resort made for adults. There's a big monster living in the sea between here and Scaraba. I've seen a picture of it. Alright, uh, what do you sell? Welcome to my store. What do you need? So you're gonna buy something, eh? Alright, a new bat. Oh boy, new coins. And new bands. Oh man. Well, the diamond band has to be better. A super plush bear. Gosh. Gosh, so much good stuff in here. Alright. If this isn't for looky lose, if you're not buying, get out. Okay, uh. Work. My brain doesn't want to work today. I guess I'm too distracted by my own problems. I don't have enough to buy diamond bands for everybody, and I don't know if I can grind on enemies enough to get it. Like. I bought th three of these I would have that would be a, a, about four th 40,000 and that would leave me with 2,000 and I wouldn't have enough to get the lucky coins uh I guess I'll buy one, find out how big of a boost it is. Alright. No. Alright, let's find out how big of a boost this thing is. Oh, uh, wait. a boost of 10 and this is the plat I already have a platinum on her all right I'll give this to her that's a boost of 10 from the platinum and then I will give the platinum to somebody and see See what that does. Drank it. Oh, the capsules are liquid. I w I was imagining a capsule like a pill, like a Tylenol. Um. All right. So if I equip Conan, uh, gold blaze at the. Okay, that's ten, which means. Uh, the diamond one would be 20. Whew. Um. Alright, let's start with increasing his... Wait. Didn't I just use a capsule that was in his inventory? Uh, brah, 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 brah. Oh, I should just sell that. This is super interesting gameplay, right? Nice. Alright, I'll take it. Yes. Big League Bat. Who's gonna carry it? I am, of course. Who else would carry it? Buy your Mr. Baseball bat for two forty nine. Okay. Yes. Buy. Uh. Now. 
Okay, what I need to know is... Is the... No. No, okay. What I need to know is what gives me the better boost. Coin defense to lucky coin is a defense boost of 10. So the diamond brand is actually the better investment because that's an increase of 20. Alright. Bye. Diamond band, who's gonna carry it? Just give it to Conan. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's a nice number. Another diamond one for Rocky. Oh, sh Oh, right. I didn't... I gotta resell... The... What did I buy? Yeah, the coin defense. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. I should have did all my shopping between sessions, but I didn't think about it. Okay. Yes. Wait, he was already wearing the diamond band? Whoa, what did I just do? Oh, hell, it's too late to fix it. Unless I want to jump back to my last save. Wait, he's wearing... Oh, he, he's the one who didn't have the diamond band yet. I already gave one to Conan. Dang it! I just wasted a ton of money. Well, you know what? I... Um, Rocky's so far ahead that he doesn't really need it. I will just give him the platinum band instead. And he will equip that and then sell uh, and then I'll give him the gold bracelet He's fine. I will... Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Okay, I think I'm all done here. I'll just double check just to make sure there's nothing else I want. I could buy the super plush bear. Mm. I'll hold off on that because... Duh. Yeah, I'll hold off for now. Uh, put my money back in the machine. Uh, I will hold on to a little bit just in case. I'll hold on to $200. Okay. Well, sorry if that wasn't interesting at all. Uh... I really, I'm really upset that I wasted money back there trading a diamond band for a diamond band. Uh, 
what's there was a club somewhere too right it must be that place oh wait there's two businesses in between the shop and the hospital I guess I'll start here although I don't yeah this is a just a bread place I'll have to braise boa over minced baby leeks oh you're not the waiter minced boa as in the snake Marijuana, please, we do not have such trash in our menu. Poo wheat. Oh, sorry. You know, I can't quite describe it. Drinking glass after glass of iced coffee is, well, burp. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's... What? We just had a picture taken. Good lord, man. Calm down. Also, stop stalking us. Oh, jeez. And that lady's just like... Your crotch is in my face! What the hell? Alright, just take our photo. Luckily, we're perfectly positioned this time. Look at us. Okay. Well, that was very rude of you to stand on that lady's table. I have fake teeth, so I like bought food. Not like rocks or stones. They're too hard. That's not food. I like the atmosphere in this restaurant. They have good food, too. Are you a waiter, or are you... Hey, talking to people at another table in a restaurant is like breaking into the room and checking their drawers for valuables. Yeah, other people on important ventures do such things, but you have to admit that it's bizarre. Oh, are you commenting on... Uh, just general video game... I guess we'll see if you have any unique foods on you. Uh, gee, crack and soup. Oh gosh, this stuff's expensive. Well, the only thing I can afford is the pasta de summers, unless I go to an ATM. So I guess I'll buy that and find out what it does. Nope. Yeah, sure. So, what is it like? If this is useful, I mean, useless, I'm going to be extremely upset. Legend holds was a favorite of King Summers III uh, in the 16th century. Back then, there were many great chefs confident in their culinary skills, always going to and from Summers Palace. One day, King Summer. Wow, this thing has a lot of lore. Once... I think, is that supposed to be one day or once a day? King Summer's wife, it's one day, it's Anna Summers, said, Oh, what I wouldn't give for some really delicious pasta. Well, let's just leave it at that. The story is too long to go through completely. But it really is a beautiful, touching tale. We eat and you cover about 110 HP. So it's actually worse than a slice of pizza. Great. That was a great use of my... Mm. Are you two brothers? Ah, I shouldn't stereotype like that, I suppose. Club Stoic. This is not the Stoic Club. Be on your way. It's not? It says Club Stoic. Also, I wasn't aware I was looking for the Stoic Club. Oh, right, the museum. That's what the other building was. Hmm, a phone which means something suspicious might happen here. So I better save. Thanks, Dad. That's not enough money. I need like a billion dollars now. Oh, poor Marie. She's so far behind. Alright. Oh, this is so long every time. Right now, part of the Scaraba Cultural Club is being remodeled. Do you still want to enter? Yes. Three dollars per person. Ugh. I mean, it's not unreasonable for them to want money, but... I guess... Toten Carmen's Casket. Rom Raisin Third's Casket. Is that okay? It just has a big question mark on it. Mumble, mumble. Why would Mr. Spoon from Foreside Museum try to call me? I bet he just wants to brag about something. Well, let him try. I wonder what he wants to tell me. Bah! 
I dare him to try and upstage me. Oh, pardon me. I was just talking to myself. Cough. Oh, that ominous music. Rum raisin the fourth casket. Rum raisin the fifth training pot. I saw a chubby kid about your age here. He looked like he was awfully wealthy. He was being extravagant. Oh, get out of my way. Yes, yes. Don Carmen's pencil box. He must have had big pencils and also man-shaped pencils. I don't like the way their eyes are red. I feel like that means I'm going to have to fight them later. His lunchbox, okay. Maybe he was just a big dude. Hello, do you have a towel on your head? This room is being remodeled, so I can't show it to you. I can't. Well, I usually don't show this room. Once you hit adulthood, you'll understand. I do, however, like jewelry. Perhaps a little, shall we say, under the table deal would be in order? Alright, so I got a hint to go back to Foreside and talk to a Mr. Spoon in the museum there, I guess? Uh, and that's all I know to... Alright, let's do it then, I guess, because I don't see any other hints about what to do. For side Yide! Okay. Museum was this away, I think. No, no, it's that away. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, yes, it's just here amongst the lions. Uh, can I go inside? Apparently, the wall is the door, not the door. Hey, you over there. Yeah, yeah. I just paid to add another mute. Five per person. How come this one's more expensive than the later one? Yeah, I'm sure. Is that Mr. Spoon? I think I remember someone referring to themselves as a utensil over here. This guy? You want to know about something extraordinary? Hmm. You know, there's a new singer named Venus at the Tupolev Theater. Could you bring me her autograph on an eraser? Then I'll show you something extraordinary. Oh, if you can get her autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. Uh, jeez. Asking for an eraser is awful specific. Um, and I don't think I have anything. Don't have an eraser or toilet paper on me. Maybe I should buy a ruler? Oh, wait, I haven't seen anybody selling rulers lately. I think they, they don't, I think there was somebody selling them, uh, where was the Topala Theater again? Uh, it must have been this way. Uh, yeah, I think the last place I saw rulers being sold was way back in Onet. If they were even being sold there, maybe it's my imagination. Uh, cafe? No. Where's the theater? Oh. It's this building over here, I think. No, it's not it either. The heck? Uh, wait. That is an enemy, but I've never encountered that enemy here before. It's like, is that an enemy or is it just a normal sign this time? But no, it's an enemy. I really shouldn't have turned my back to it. Uh... That should be enough, right? It didn't have that much HP. Okay. Um... Right, I have no clue where this freaking theater is. It must be along this main road over here. I'm calling it a main road, but, like, all these roads are pretty much... 
Ah, uh, here we go. <sighs> Gotta spend yet more money. Yes. Jeez. Uh. Like, how many t Wait. Didn't I have a show ticket in... Uh, in my... What do you call it? The Escargo Express. Oh, baby, baby, baby! Don't make me hurt so bad! These guys are all stone cold gone for you. Ow! You cute, sexy thing, you! Baby, sing to me! Sing to me only! Baby Venus! Just sing and I can die a happy man, baby! I want to hold you tight, Venus, baby. Boo-hoo-hoo-hoo, Wait, is this supposed to be like the crowd talking? I thought it was like an announcer on stage. And if that's the case, it's really depressing. But... This game sure likes scenes like this. Just... Cut scenes of people making music on a stage. Also, I thought she left with the one at Runaway 5. interesting is that guy doing something suspicious or was that just a thing that happened yep there he is again he is doing something suspicious do I need to go up there and beat him up wait a minute was that the guy from the museum I'm not sure. Also, the person controlling the spotlight was really good at their job to keep it on her while she was somewhat fleeing that guy. I thought the blue part was a wall. She's a witch! Okay, so how... The security people apparently... Oh, I guess it was just Shadow. Um, so I can't... There's no way the security people are going to let me in, right? Ah, your friend of the Runaway 5. Did you come to see Miss Venus? Come inside quickly. Never mind. Don't let the other fans see you enter. <coughs> hey, all you fans! I'm going to see Venus, and you can't come! Anyways. Oh, do you want an autograph? Okay, I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. Here you go. Marie got the signed, auto signed banana. Oh, and this is a bonus. Smack! Banana peel. Looks like you're, like you aren't busy. You make yourself at home for a while. Well, she's awful nice for someone who just had strangers walk into her dressing room. Oh, jeez. When the heck is am I supposed to get my fourth party member? Oh, hi. And I gotta go back into the museum again, which means another fifteen dollars. I. I'm going to have to use the ATM again before I can go to the second museum back in Italy. Uh, now I don't remember where the museum was. Ooh, 
wah, 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 wah. All right. Once again, the part that looks like a door isn't the part you go through. Get. Yep, okay. I was just wondering if she charged me 15 for trying to sneak past her. And it would be cheaper if I went straight to the desk, but nope, it's the same price either way. You! Did I just see you sneaking on a snage, you dirty, dirty man? Wanna know something extraordinary? Mmm. You know, there's a new singer- oh, wait, okay, he said I'll, I have to actually use the item on him, right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you don't have to tell me all this again. Uh, buh, 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 buh. buttons for this game are so confusing. Okay, let's use this on him, Just spray him right in the eyes. Nah, okay. You got it! That banana peel has an authentic Venus autograph? Yup, there's no doubt about it. Now for my promise, I'll tell you about something extraordinary. In the next room, there's a light shining from far, far below the manhole. There's a manhole in the middle of your museum? There I found a huge monster rat! I'm not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you go there and check it out for yourself. Do I want... None of this sounds like good stuff. Hello, rat. Hello, trash can. Deadly mouse and cohorts. Like, I feel like the ghost is more likely to use status things on me. Oh! All right, I think you do physical, you do offense, and you, there we go. I'm assuming since the attacks were so weak that it's weak to side attacks. And it did do more damage, but it wasn't enough to kill him. I wish that spying on the enemies told me how much HP they have. Instead of just telling me their offense and defense. Because their offense and defense doesn't really mean anything to me. Because it's not like a... a it's not... A, oh, did the mouse just smash me? Jeez. Oh, uh, what was I just saying? Yeah, like... I don't know the math behind how the defense and offense work. If it was like one of those situations where it's one of those games where um, like it's like oh my offense is 100 and your defense is 50 so obviously I'm going to do 50 points of damage to you. Like then it would mean something because I'd know exactly how much damage I'm going to do to him. But, since I don't know how the math works, it doesn't mean much of anything to me. Filthy attack roach. Oh, you darn kids, get out of my sewer! Alright. Uh, ha ha ha, bash him. Uh, what's cheaper? That's cheaper. And you find out what he's weak against. I mean... It, I'm not saying spy is useless because it does tell me what their elemental weaknesses are as well as um, vulnerable to pretty much everything. Whoa! I can 
Get free items by spying? That's interesting. Is that... Can I inspect that somehow? Because it's animated. Hmm. I don't know why I want to see a giant rat. I also don't know why this would be like the his big announcement to the historical society because this doesn't seem like relevant to a museum. All right, you bash that. Uh, uh, that didn't seem to do that much more damage. I should probably find out if it has any specific weaknesses. Alright, so you bash that. Uh, you freeze that, and you spy that. Unless it just kills it, which it probably won't. No, because it's got a... Offense is 90, defense is vulnerable to fire, vulnerable to flash, and vulnerable to paralysis. So I should be using fire on it, not ice. Okay, you... Use some life on him. Oh, well that was useless. Okay, bash, fire, and shoot. Does the trash can also disappear into thin air? Seems like, like, there should still be a trash can lying around. Ugh, two more enemies over there. It also doesn't get one to disappear. So one of the two disappear, just so I don't, nope, I have to deal with that combo every time. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I know I can... That didn't really seem that strong. Okay. Said it was weak to flash, right? Wait, did the mouse go, go, just go tame as a result of getting hit by Flash? Does that move do damage? Delicately feeds Rocky a cheese bar. Well, at least he didn't attack, I suppose. He doesn't have any PP, but wasn't he hitting me with status ailments? Oh, whatever. Cone is 47. 
Oh, I can walk in the water. That's delightful. Can I go this way? Let me... Well, let's see here. There's a croissant inside. Oh, that's useless. Not at this point in the game. Croissant only heals like, what, like 60? Oh, wait. Really? She's at max hit points? Okay. Uh, you friggin' mice. Uh, if I remember right, these guys were vulnerable to pretty much everything. I suppose I sh shouldn't be wasting all her and her pee pee. Because I'm, like, I'm, supposed, I'm looking for a giant monster in this dungeon. So, I might need her for that. Alright, let's just bash the shit out of everybody. She can actually do that, just in case they have anything for me, which they probably don't. No, I knew that was going to happen. I feel like only like the alien enemies have PP. A continuous attack? Uh, how can... Uh. Nice smash, girl. You're the VIP this round. Oh. Rocky's level's 54. Jeez, Rocky. Calm down. I mean, it's not like you got any old babies, but still, jeez, you just don't stop leveling. I'm guessing I can't go through these bars, right? Okay. It's a surprise that they even let me in this area at all, then. They could have easily blocked me. Hey, cockroach. At least I don't have to worry about getting hit by enemies down here. Or wait, no, there was something floating in the water over here earlier, so I guess I can get hit by enemies. I don't see any now. Yeah, that's an enemy. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, I was hoping you didn't notice me, but there's pretty much no chance of that happening. Uh, boop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Do something good. Okay, crying is lowered accuracy, right? Stay more PP because she's already pretty low, and I might need it for the boss. What are you grinning about, you silly? You silly wascal! What do you think this is a ghost of? Like, geez, I would. I hate to die and end up haunting a trash can in the sewer for the rest of eternity. Until some kids came along and 
are beating me with bats because apparently that works on ghosts. Oh, I should really just have her defend. That one HP damage isn't very worth it. Doopa 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 doopa, we are really, really slow. Oh, jeez. Jeez, things just keep going. Is that an enemy? Can you see me? Nope. Oh, you filthy roaches. Oh. Jeez. That's kind of annoying. What's even more annoying is they tried to do that to Marie and if did like uh 50 plus damage. Nice. She just really hates bugs. You know, it's actually, now that I think about it, it's kind of surprising that they didn't have a w new weapon for her when we got to, uh, Summers. Because, like, she's been out of the party for so long that she hasn't really had a chance to upgrade like everybody else. So I think they would have given her a new weapon to compensate. Okay, one trash can I can do. Jeez, can that thing, could that thing have actually gotten to me? Can it go up ladders? Uh, oh. I'm gonna try paralysis on it this time. Nice. Jeez, oh, Pete. You normally do one point of damage to him and you smash it 160 something? Oh, paralysis does work. Okay, so the rest of this battle should be easy. Paralysis seems a bit, like, overpowered in this game, to be honest. Because it's like, a 100% chance of not moving. Unless... Mm, you know what? I don't feel like anybody aside from Conan's been paral paralyzed. So I don't actually know. Like, it's possible that it doesn't affect. Um. Alright. Hopefully the paralysis will work on him, and then everybody else can just smash the mouse. Oh, gosh dang it, what was I just saying? Nice. I was just about to say, uh, it's possible that, for all I know, people might be able to use their psychic talents while paralyzed. Uh, no, um... Wait a minute. Healing one does a hundred, right? And she's only got like a hundred and fifty HP. Oh dang it, did I just use healing instead of life up? 
I am so dumb. No, not poison. Oh no. Mm, 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 mm. Well, she's getting the full life up, up now. Um. All I need just Conan take out the mouse so he doesn't take out Marie. Okay, thank you, Conan. That was a gamble. Like I literally should have just had her heal herself because she's the fastest. But I took a gamble that I would be have that she wouldn't get killed in that time frame. And luckily it worked out for me. Like, I probably shouldn't gamble as much since I'm, uh, you know, doing a show, or I call it a show, it's not really a show, really it's just me floundering around and talking like an idiot. Like if it was a show, I should at least be trying to be entertaining. And. To be fair, I am trying, even though I'm blatantly failing. Ooh, okay. Uh, Marie? Oh, wait a minute. Alright, I'll give that... I don't think the broken spray cans were very useful, but the broken iron might be. Uh, wait. All right, give that to him. Uh, give that to her. I kinda don't want to give him the broken spray can just yet because even if it does turn out to be useful, I would still him prefer him prioritize the other broken things. Good, great. Uh, paralysis. And. Shoo, 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 shoo. want to use Psy Carmel. How many of those do I even have? That was really expensive. I mean, luckily it's useful. I mean, I might use, like, this is just gonna be me smacking him from here on out, so I might as well just auto it. Stellar gameplay. Is this, you know, I just realized now that the thing's go playing on its own and I can actually look carefully at the ghosts. And there's, like, a lot going on here. First of all, it's like thrusting its hips, or where its hips would be anyways. It's got weird horns on its head. And also, it's like, it's, if, what, what is that, it's right arm that's sticking out over there? Like the end of it looks like an arrow, so it kind of looks like he's um, pointing at his stomach. Or, I guess, the hip that's being thrust forward. So, he's really proud of himself, apparently. Really proud of his body. Which, I guess, I should say, good for you, man. I'm not proud of my body, so... You're good, you're getting, doing better than me. Ah, uh, well, one cockroach isn't that bad. 
Bashy, bashy, bashy. That thing must have low defense. How big is that thing actually supposed to be in comparison to me? Because on the map, it looks like I could easily squash it. But, er, in the field, I should say. Oh, don't continuous attack. Oh good, he missed. Yeah, they call it a continuous attack, but it only does two hits. Like, I, I don't think I've seen it do more than two hits yet, if that's even possible. Oh, jeez, I'm getting all this sewage in my shoes. Oh. Good gravy. Good gravy in a boat. And if they are smaller than me, then what exactly is this attack that they're using? This attack of continuous style. Because they're probably not just punching me, right? him and bashy on him. It's a pity that Conan can't get smashes. At least I'm pretty sure he can't. I think uh, only bashing type weapons can get smashes and shoots can't, if I understand that correctly. What was it trying to do? Just impress me? He's like, yo, look at my wings! Uh, and of course you're alive. I no reason to believe you wouldn't be. But... You're rather pathetic at this point, I gotta say, now that I know the trick to you. I just have to be careful not to waste last of my pee pee. Oh, jeez. I haven't called my mom in a while. Well, it hasn't, he hasn't stopped doing things yet, so I, I guess I'm glad that this game gives me ample warning for when, oh dang it, he did stop doing things. I never mind about that whole ample warning thing. Like, he really wants to get home, and you're standing in the way, so... Why is Rocky the only one who gets homesick? I guess I can understand Conan not getting homesick because... Like, he doesn't have much to go home to. Like, his dad sucks and he just lives in a school. Uh... Oh no, this is huge. Oh, the rat, this is a my sanctuary location. Alright, I guess I should start over here then. Was there... door and there was also a 
Well, let's see here. There's a Rust Promoter DX inside. Hmm. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh... Okay. Life up Alpha should be enough for Marie. Heal, or I mean, get PP. Hopefully, this is one of those places where I can just keep going in and out. But I gotta try to do it without getting any fights. Okay. My max is 142. How much does that give me? 20. Oh, jeez. If I want to fill up completely, it's going to take a while. I probably won't fill up completely. I'll just do this a few more times. I mean, y'all know if you were in my situation, you do the same thing. I'm sure everybody who plays the game does this. And if you don't, then... I don't know. Like, bravo for not taking advantage of a game mechanic? Whoa, is there a limit to how many times I can make him spawn? Oh, there he is. Alright, I'm just going to do it one more time, and I think that's enough. Uh, like, I, I kind of wonder if I'm the... Like, I know I'm, I know I'm not very good at doing this, uh... Let's play-ish thing. But I, I wonder how comparatively bad I am. Like, are there a... a... Like, I feel like there's gotta be people that are worse than me. Because there's, I mean, there's gotta be a lot of little children doing this who... Like, don't really have anything to say at all. I don't know. Maybe little children are more listen interesting to listen to than I am, though. Broken bazooka? Jeez, oh, Pete. Um. Well, I am going to... Alright, I know what I'm going to do. It's... Yep, right here. Bashy and... Might as well use this thing. Don't do that. That's not cool, man. Really? Conan, now's not the time for that. We're about to get you a new thingamajig. What does that do? It keeps... Every time they've tried it, it hasn't worked.
it, since it doesn't work on Conan, no. See, my assumption is that uh, it's his, it's supposed to take his PP, but usually, if that's the case, it will say. Co but Conan doesn't have any PP. All right, sanctuary. Uh, yeah, this is the end of the line. Okay. I wonder if coming back here was optional. I mean, obviously I have to do this at some point, but I'm curious if, like, this wasn't specifically what I had to be doing right now. Like, maybe there was something else in Summers I could have done at the moment. And it was completely optional to do this part right now. Alright. Okay. Oh, well, I was gonna say, I was gonna make a guess about what it's gonna be, and then like, oh, wait, it's a giant rat. That guy already told me. You finally got here. This is the fifth your sanctuary location, but it is mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Whoa, that is not a rat. That is more like a whale that grew rat features. Holy shit, that thing's creepy. It's like a, if a rat bred with one of those things on the cover of the Hitchhiker's Guide. Alright, um... I'm just gonna straight up start out with full offense attacks. Just hit them with everything I got. Yeah, well, he spies on him. Because if this just kills him right out, it'll be hilarious. Okay. That didn't work. Offense is 71, defense is 180. So he's not much stronger than any of the other enemies we're seeing around here. Oh, jeez. He's not weak to anything specifically. Specific? 240, huh? Well, let's see if paralysis works on him. Probably not. I mean, he is a boss, but I don't know. It worked on that pile of vomit I fought before. Mr. Belch. Um... And let's see if we can decrease his defense. And... There's no way Slime Generator's gonna work on him. Um... I feel like he didn't take quite enough damage for that, so... I'll... Does it work? Yeah, it worked! Oh my god, that worked! Well, like, unless the rat has the ability to cure himself, then the rest of this fight should be a breeze. Well, that didn't do much damage. Alright, I'm going to have her keep lowering his defense then. Because that will make the other two damage him faster. Oh. Can it not go down more than one time? See, this is what I'm talking about. Paralysis is broken. Holy shit. Like, I honestly think they should have made it not work on this guy, period. Because... I guess you can't, I guess there's not multiple stages of lowering defense. I thought it might stack, but I guess not. Alright, um, 
How about you increase offense instead then? Someone get a smash in on him, huh? Alright, I'm gonna try one more of these. And then, geez, there's nothing... Like, might as well not waste my time doing anything but fighting, so it's just... All that's left is for me to sit here and watch them automatically slaughter this pathetic rat. Oh jeez, that was a pathetic boss fight. Well, Conan, why are you looking that way? The fight was over here. It's a crystal. That's strange because every uh, other location up to now has been like kind of natural formations, weird natural formations, but natural formations all the same. So this looks more like something that was placed here. Like it doesn't look like it should be sticking out of the grass. Rocky saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. Rocky Soundstone recorded the melody of Magnet Hill. Oh. Whoa, there's a carrot key inside. Marie takes it. Alright, let's check some things. Goods. I think I were, like, yeah, we really need to pack away some stuff. What is a carrot key for? Carrot key, a special type of bunny's favorite carrot. So it's not a key at all, then, is what I'm getting from that. Uh. Can I. There's no easy way out here, is there? I gotta walk all the way back through the sewer again, don't I? Now I regret not using my... I mean, using all my Psy right away. Because I was like, oh, I can just get out here, do my thing, and then, like, teleport out of here. But there's no way I'm gonna be able to teleport out of here. Like, even if I can run in circles. I straight up can't teleport now. Shit. But apparently I leveled up enough that things are running away from me now. Or do enemies automatically do that after you... Huh. Is that... Well, this is in the bag because my opening attack is going to kill this first one. Or he could dodge everything. Wait, did did the wing attack freeze him from moving? I was, I was only half paying attention. If so, at least now I know what that does. Stop it! You bully! I say as I squash you with a pan. Okay, I'm guessing by the fact that the carrot key was there, that it is key, kayak, kayak, to whatever I need to do next. And this area wasn't optional because I needed that key to move on. 
think I could walk to a ladder and it'll be faster, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, I feel like I'm not strong enough to take, to instant kill these enemies, so it must be a mechanic that defeating the boss in an area makes everybody flee from you. That's interesting. I thought it was they just flee from you if you're too strong. Um... Which way am I supposed to go? This area is longer than I remember it being. But they they probably... Led. This is probably smart on the developer's choice um, part. Because it means... Even though I have to trudge all the way back through this dungeon... I don't have to actually fight anything if on my way out if I don't want to. Yeah. Oh, well, you're just a single cockroach, so I'll just kill you. Bashy, bashy, bashy. So, yeah. Well, this, this game has a lot of weird mechanical things, like the buttons layout and stuff like that. Cause it, like, it's weird that the A button isn't just, doesn't just do what the shoulder button does and just auto just assume, check everything. But, like, there's strange things going on like that with how this game works with its functionality but at the same time like I feel uh, I'm so bad at explaining things on the fly like if if I had uh, like an hour to write an essay or something I could I mean, it wouldn't be brilliant, but I could at least explain what's on my mind and what I'm trying to say about this game, but trying to explain it on the spot is, like, really difficult for me to come up with words for what I'm trying to say. But I'm just trying to say, like, the developers were really s clever with a lot of things. Like, what I was just saying about the enemies running away from you after you beat a boss. Like, that's a really good idea. Because it means I don't have to waste my time. I don't feel like it's a grind trying to get back out of that dungeon. Despite the fact that I have to walk all the way back out. Because otherwise I'd be whining about like. Ah, oh, I beat the boss. Why don't they just teleport me back to town? But it's like. No, it's not that big of a deal. Because the fights in there are optional now. So that's really clever. So I'm just trying to compliment the game on that is all. Please come back again to study, because I don't like being alone. Yeah, whatever. So I got a carrot key for a rabbit, but I haven't seen any rabbits, so I'm not sure how that helps me exactly. Um, really? Unless you're here to give me a clue, I'm not really interested. Well, I guess this is a nice picture on the steps of the museum, next to the lion statues. Once again, Conan and Marie are just completely perplexed as to what is going on. They're like, why does this guy follow him around everywhere? And he just accepts it. I wonder if this is like a, like, if that's like a common day thing that happens in Ness's hometown. After all, that is the first place we met him. Um. <laughs> Alright. Hotel first. Because I need to store some items as well 
All right, let's hit the ATM first because I literally have to withdraw. Just take out a couple thousand. Jeez, I wish that's something I could say in real life. Oh, let's take a few thousand dollars out of my account. No big deal. It's like I've never seen four digits in my bank account in the war in my life. Oh, welcome to the Monotoli Grand Hotel. When they okay, would you like to stay? Yes. I'm just well. I guess I do. Yes. Broken iron. After being fixed, broken iron became a slime. Oh, I don't need another slime generator. I mean, unless there's a limit to how many uses it has, it doesn't seem like it. All right, I'm gonna stay one more time to see. Oh, right, I have to walk out before he'll let me stay. All right, one more stay just to see if he will fix it and then when he doesn't I will send some stuff to Escargo. Oh, he didn't fix it. Okay. Alright. First thing I need to do is call my mom because Rocky's feeling blue. Teacher drop by. Don't worry. How many times is the teacher gonna fall for that? Ah, uh, keep on trucking. That's my favorite. Uh, I don't know phrase. I guess. Just keep on trucking. Just keep on trucking through life. I don't know why I walked out the door because I need to use the phone for again. All right, Escargo. Is that you, Rocky? Yes, it's always me. I still don't know how this six-year-old girl has a job. Uh... Here... Mario guy... Where are you? Uh... Hello? Scargo Express, your delivery charge is 18. Yes, I can cover the bill. Alright, let's see. I don't need that second slime generator. So you could take that. Um. Oh, contact lens. I'm supposed to go to the bakery in town to give that away, right? To someone, right? Um, okay. You can take the brush promoter. And... Mm -hmm. I guess that's it. Alright, I thought I had more stuff I can give him than that, but I guess it's just those two things. Alright, so... Where is the bakery? Someone on the second... According to a sign I ran into in the desert forever ago, someone on the second floor of the bakery wants me to give them a contact lens that I found in the desert. And... And I thought it was a girl's name, but he, this is the only guy up here. Alright, um, goods. Who had the contact lens? What? You came to deliver my grandma's memento, the contact lens? Thank you. Let me thank you while not facing you at all. Thank you so much. It's our family tradition to keep things forever. Okay, I'll give you something as a reward. Here's my socks that I use only for special occasions. I've worn these socks for just five years. There are no holes and they've only been worn once since the last washing. They stink a little, but they're still good. Hey, don't refuse me here. I'm being generous. 
Where you got a pair of dirty socks? Uh, wait. You said it's tradition to keep things forever, yet you're giving away a random pair of socks. Pair of dirty socks. When used during battle, the enemy gets so nauseous from the ripe order, odor they cannot fight. Gone after one use. That sounds useless. Okay. Let's see if I can teleport while facing this direction. Technically can, but all right, let's try that again. Teleport. What did it really? It, I didn't hit the tree. I was still no, whatever. I'm gonna have to go all the way out of town to teleport if I can't do it at an angle because there's no straight lines long enough. I mean, this road might work as, soon as, as long as no NPCs get in my way. Let's get as far up here as I can so I got plenty of room. Alright. PSI, teleport, Summers. Try this again. Work, 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 work! It worked! I have no idea what to do now. Okay, I got a carrot. Who wants a carrot? Like, literally the only place... I haven't been in this town... Is the club and I don't know how to get in there I do think there was a guy somewhere in town that was complaining that his wife hangs out in the club uh, do you want a carrot but nothing happened okay oh a, I don't remember this bird it's a minor bird. The guy next to me is really bugging me. He keeps following me around. Uh, don't talk to me. Who was the minor bird to imitating? Because minor birds, in case you don't know, like to mimic human speech. So I'm assuming the minor bird is a hint. But I don't see any NPCs near him to be for him to mimic. At least none with two guys or a... hmm. None with a guy next to another person. I mean, uh, that doesn't belong in the middle of the road. Shame on you, sign. At the very least, you can know your place. Okay, the NPC was on the docks over here somewhere, I believe. Was it this guy? East of here is Port Town of Toto. Um, east of here is this direction. Or wait, is that what this area is supposed to be right here? This is Toto. Or is... Go to Surabi, you need to cross the sea. However, Monster Name Crack lives in the open sea. Uh, where is the guy who was talking to me about his wife? Is it him? If you like a boat ride, yes. I don't feel like sending ship out. I'm worried about my wife. I'm not afraid of the Kraken. My wife's totally ignoring her magic cake business. She spends in a strange club. Right, the club. The club I can't get into. 
but he didn't give me any hints that helped me get into the club. I don't know what to use this carrot on. I really... The carrot says it's for a rabbit to eat, but I haven't seen any rabbits. Like, anywhere in the entire game. Yes, I got the first shot. It was me. Jeez, Rocky, stop already. Jeez. My HP is through the roof. Am I above the 500 yet? Like, I'm highly doubting there's any rabbits in this hospital, but I suppose I haven't technically checked every room in here. I don't even know if I walked into this hospital. Nope, nobody. Okay, waste of time. Alright, well, I think I'm what I'm gonna do... Since I'm almost down to only 10 minutes left. Oh, wait, never mind. There's a hint guy right here. Yes, I'll pay your stupid fee for your hint because I have no clue what to do. This guy charges me 150. I should go to another town and get it, but. You need to make a reservation by phone to go to the Stoic Club. Someone in Toto, the port town next to Summers, should know the phone number. Okay, so I'm looking, f so I'm guessing I'm looking for someone in a house near a phone. Do you know a phone number? Scar no, he's talking about Scaraba. That's a shop. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's not going to be in there. I mean, I'll come back and check it if I don't find anything else, but I'm suspecting it's... You're a grave robber? Why would you just tell me that? I was scared of the Pyramid of Scaraba, so I didn't go in. But I told people that I saw mummy-type monsters with my very own eyes. What? Why? What? Why would you give me that information? It's just, hey, hey kid, I'm a massive liar. I fib to people all the time. Did I not visit inside all these houses? Because I don't remember talking to that last guy or seeing this guy. Do you know the Stoic Club in Summers? You need to call a secret number for a reservation if you want to get in. What? Yeah, I'll give you the secret number. I warn you though, it's a strange place. Okay. There was... Hello, Oh, happy day. I finally got a hold of you. Oh, Conan. Hi, it's me, Tony. Tony... T oh, wait, why would... Oh, he did say Conan. Okay, C Tony is Conan's friend from the school. I'm collecting players' names for a school project. You know, players just like you. That's right, you, the one holding the controller. Uh, would you register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong. Ooh, okay. Mm. Uh, well, I'm not gonna put my full name on here, even though it's giving me enough spaces for it. You know what? I'm just gonna use. Since it gives me enough space, I'm just gonna use my screen name. Like, I'm wondering if I should try putting something funny in here instead, but I'm not sure what this is for. So it's like, when it gets used later, which I'm sure it will, I kind of want to, you know, be able to spot it. Instead of it just looking like a piece of random dialogue. 
So I think it's better if I actually put some resemblance of my real name in here. Or a name I use anyways. Thanks, game player. Thank you very much. Is this correct? Yep. I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put my friend Conan in any dangerous situations, okay? Um, I killed him a couple times already. Sorry about that. I worry about him. I really do. Well, talk to you later, Conan. Hope that I can see you again when you're feeling up to it. From Tony. You got that? Well, I've been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Beep. Aw. Hey, Conan, I think your friend has a crush on you. That's so adorable. Anyways, uh, guess I'll head to the hotel and use the phone. You know what? Uh, I don't know how long this club thing is going to take. So, I only have nine minutes left, so I'm just going to go ahead and head to the hotel and then cut this short. Oh, good job crying, Conan. He's just in tears because, like, he's so sad that he's, I mean, that he can't see his friend. He's, he's homesick too. Well, it's nice to know that Conan has something to go home to. Because his dad sucks. He really does. So, it's nice to know that he has, you know, a good friend to go home to. Oops, wait, this is a restaurant, not the hotel. Alright, I'm just gonna... Wait, there's no phone in this hotel. Oh wait, yes there is. It's behind him. It's a payphone. That's interesting. I think this is the first hotel I've been to that has a payphone. Also, there wasn't really any reason for me to sleep, was there? I just... I walked into a hotel and just kind of did that automatically. Alright, let's... Can I use the phone from this angle? Yes, I can. Um... Stoic Club! Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, Rocky, sir, would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We are looking forward to having you here. Thank you. Click beep beep beep. Alright. And then I'm just gonna save with my dad. Thanks, dad. Next level, Rocky, Marie, and Conan. Anyways, what do you need from me? Record. All done. Your dear old dad saw us thinking about hay for the night. Not thinking about hay. Alright. So, alright, that's it for tonight. And next time I will find out what's going on inside that stoic club. I have a feeling... I don't know after that moonside thing like there could be anything inside of that building so i i'm imagining there's going to be some sort of adventure going on in there i really hope it's not literally just me walking in talking to the wife and leaving because that would make a really terrible cliffhanger right now all right well um thanks for watching i guess and I really need to come up with a way to do these outros better. Ah. Anyway, see you next time.